Photoshop tutorial. This is going to make, be making a brushed metal effect, which is just really easy. Um, I want to start off by saying this effect probably looks better on objects rather than text. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so probably rather use this on objects. Look, I'm going to be done. So I have a background. It's just a grey to a darker grey. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, we want to have guides up like this. And if you don't know how to do that, just go to View, New Guide. I'm going to type in 50%. Click OK and then do it again for a horizontal. Then you should have something like this. Uh, <clears throat> Then you're going to go down to your custom shape tool. Uh, make it any color you want, doesn't matter. And drag out from the center, holding Alt and Shift, and just make your shape. And once you've done that, you can just go and rasterize that layer, and then you're going to give it some effects. First, a gradient overlay. You're going to change this black to a dark ish grey. It can be a little bit lighter than that. And your white to a very light grey. <coughs> You're going to change the style to reflected. Uh, click reverse and put the angle at 125. And put the scale all the way up. And then you can give it a nice drop shadow, 100% opacity, 90 degrees on the angle, uh, 2 spread, 4 size, and that's it. You can give it a bevel and emboss, give it a pillow emboss, smooth, um, all the way up on depth, size 0. Uh, 90 degrees, 30, uh, change the highlight to 40% and the shadow to 40%, then you can go over to satin, I'm going to change the angle to 45, uh, 50 opacity, distance 3, size 3, <coughs> and that should be alright. And that's your shape. Now you're going to be making the actual effect itself, so make a new layer. <coughs> uh, make a selection that covers your shape, fill it in with white. Set the layer mode as multiply. Go to filter, pixelate, uh, meso tint, and just put on fine dots and click OK. And go to filter, blur, <coughs> radial blur, and best quality. You want it on spin. Put the amount to about seventy. You can deselect by going Control D. You're going to move the center of the radial blur in the center of the image. So, about there. <coughs> then you can uh, hold control, click the thumbnail of your shape to get the selection up, but you're still going to be on that same layer as you were. Go to layer, layer mask, and reveal selection. And then you can put the opacity down to 50. Um, you don't have to do this, but I like to give it a little bit of a sharpen. And we yeah, ask about that. Um, make a new layer. Get your polygon lasso tool, not just your lasso tool, polygon. Click from the center, and you're just going to make some ra random kind of triangular shapes and fill it in with black. So, make about three of these from different positions. Uh, 
different shapes and sizes. <coughs> and then you're going to hold control and get the selection of your shape one. Uh, control shift I to invert and delete deselect control D then you're gonna go and get the selection of your shape again uh, go to filter blur radio blur <coughs> zoom you want it to be about 40 best quality and then you're gonna go and give it a filter blur radio blur spin about 20 and put the opacity down to about 15 20 20 and then basically you're going to do that same thing again but with white um, so you can do that whole process again with white or you can just duplicate that black layer and press Control i to invert the color so it'll be white and then you can just rotate it around and just drag out Then get the selection of your shape by holding control and clicking the thumbnail of the shape. <coughs> and just go to select no layer layer mask reveal selection. And just play around with the opacity. I think I'm gonna leave it at forty. And yeah, that's pretty much the tutorial. Uh I do really like this effect. You can probably you can probably tell why I like it better on objects rather than shape um uh on shapes and objects rather than text because it's more of a radial type thing. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. I hope you like it. I hope you try it. Thanks for watching. This has been Panther and goodbye.